Oh, man. Ooh, the start of that game, I tell you. Whew. I thought the Kings were going down again. I was like, to Detroit, they was down by 17. I was like, y'all ain't doing this again, are y'all? In the game where the Kings were down by 17 in the beginning, they were able to roar back in the middle of the game and close out a victory at the end in the fourth quarter. Did y'all see how Malik Monk came into the game and was hitting? He was hitting all game. He wasn't about to let this team lose to the Pistons. On Tuesday, January 9th, the Sacramento Kings defeat the Detroit Pistons in Detroit 131 to 110. Back to their scoring ways. The Kings are now 22 and 14, and the Detroit Pistons are now 3 and 34. What's going on with y'all? Today is Wednesday. Y'all know what Wednesday is. Hump Day! January 10th of the new year, 2024. Y'all back. I'm back. Y'all back? We back. Thank you for joining me. It's your guy, Jay Woods. Back at you with another episode of The King's Morning After Midday Cup of Joe with Jay. Yeah, that cup of Joe is lukewarm. It's warm. It's good, you know. It's good, but it's lukewarm. Ah, good enough to keep me up for a while. All right, real quick, some quick stats. The Detroit Pistons' leading scorer was Bojan Bogdanovic with big twenty-six points. He had five rebounds in the night, followed up by Jaden Ivey, twenty-two points. And Jalen Duran was 16, also with 10 big rebounds on the night. Off the bench, the Pistons had Alec Burks with a big 16 points. And for the Kings, we had a lot of scoring last night, a few guys in particular. DeMontis Sabonis with another trip, duh. 37 points, 10 rebounds, 13 assists. And you're going to tell me he's not on the top 10 of big men on the all-star balloting? Hey, Kings fans, we got to get out there. We got to get Sabonis in this game. I mean, he has the most triple doubles of the season. Or maybe I think he's behind um, Jokic. I'm going to have to look that up. And then guess who had a big 32 points? Our guy, Keegan Murray, developing well. Dara Fox with the big 26 points. Uh, and off the bench, Malik Monk with the big 20. DeMontis, another 10 rebound game. Trey Lyles off the bench had eight rebounds. But other than that, he didn't get much help. I mean, Kevin Herter had five, which is decent. Keegan Murray had five. That's decent. Juan Toscano Anderson came off the bench and had six rebounds. So um, I think guys got to get a little bit more help on the boards, especially guys like Harrison Barnes, who had one rebound and zero points for HB. So I don't know what's going on with HB. It seems like every year around trade time, HB just falls off the map. Um, I mean, you could take that for what it is. The Kings had 39 assists on the night compared to the Pistons with 27. And the Kings had a big 82 points in the paint compared to Detroit Pistons with 46. When the Kings play in the paint, they do well. They need to do more of this, play in the paint more. It's not just a three-point game. And both teams hit about the same percentage of threes. Uh, Kings had 39, Pistons had 37. I test. I test. I test. I test. We're going to take an I test. All right. Man, I'll tell you what, the Kings had me nervous that game. I was like, man. And I don't know why. I mean, the Kings are doing well. I mean, don't get me wrong. They've had some big losses, but. 
the Kings record is better than it was last year. And the fans and all of us just seem really uptight about the way the Kings are playing. I, I think we probably just need to calm down just a little bit, let the season play itself out. This team is developing. This team's growing. The record is better than it was last year. I mean, what does that say? Some of these teams, I mean, I think we just kind of expect the Kings to just be super good already, like championship ready, but it takes time. You know, last year, it was the first time they made it to the playoffs in 16 years. They're not going to make it to the champions that damn fast. I don't care who you are. And in this game, it was just really good to see um, Demonis Sabonis and his power game and his power post game out there dunking on guys and screaming. And he was out there having fun and just holding it down throughout the whole game, even while they were losing. 10, 10, 10 rebounds. He's leading the league in rebounds. 13 assists. I mean, come on now. Come on now. I mean, so the Monica Sabonis saying good. Y'all need to stop it. And it was another breakout game for Keegan Murray. Hopefully we see more of that. He's more consistent with these high-scoring games. He can be that third man, that third piece. We just need to see more games like this. De'Aaron Fox doing his thing with 26 points, uh, four assists. I would like to see a few more assists from De'Aaron. Um, you know, a little bit more playmaking. And even maybe some little bit more rebounding with three rebounds. I mean, not bad from the point guard position, but I mean, he's a tall guy. Helped Demond Sabonis down there with those boards, especially guys like Harrison Barnes. To his credit, Harrison Barnes only played 14 minutes, so it seemed like he got kind of a quick tug by Mike Brown in this game. And that's going to be interesting to watch because people have been criticizing that, saying if Kevin Herter got yanked for not playing well, how come Harrison Barnes hasn't been getting yanked for not playing well? And it seems in the Pistons game, he was. And Malik Monk, our dog. <laughs> Out there getting his, as usual, coming in the game, shooting consistent threes and playmaking, dishing off, throwing alley-oops, and just doing his thing out there. Good job out there, Malik Monk. Bottom line, the Kings morning after. Bottom line. Today's bottom line is uh, for this game, man, even though the Kings got down a little bit in the first quarter, and it was like one of those moments where it was like, oh, God, here we go again. The Kings were able to get out of that. They were able to play themselves out. And by the mid-game, by second quarter, by the middle of the game, by halftime, uh, they were uh, tied and up by like two and three points. So that was good to see them able to play out of it. I mean, this was the Pistons, probably the worst team in the league. So I don't know if it's really saying much that they were able to play them with themselves out of it, but it is good experience for the future on how you can do that. Play tough defense and score, execute, make good shots, take good shots. If the three ain't hitting, do something else, drive to the basket, post up, uh, do those type of things, is which, which is what they did. And I think that's what helped carry them to this victory. And they were able to close out the game in the very end by just playing hard, playing good defense and scoring. And by the end of the game, it was a blowout, but that happened in the fourth quarter. So bottom line, uh, hopefully they can learn from this game, learn how to come back, uh, learn how to close out games that they should close and learn how to, uh, hopefully this helps them learn how to win games that they should win. Next up tonight, this is actually uh back to back tonight. The Kings are playing Charlotte, who has given them problems in the past. Uh, they'll be playing Charlotte in Charlotte, uh, 4 p.m. our time, Pacific time, Wednesday, January 10th, which is tonight. So tonight, the Kings have another opportunity to prove themselves on the road against a team I believe they should beat. Um, I didn't get a chance to check the betting line on this one. But as far as the Hornets, uh, they have LaMelo Ball, who's injured out from season. Miles Bridges, Brandon Miller, uh, Terry Rozier, Gordon Hayward. Um, and, you know, those guys, you know, it's a decent team, but they are beatable. I mean, Terry Rozier was the guy that gave the Kings problems last game. Good athletic shooter. Uh, sometimes they have problems against shooters and guys that are uh, athletic shooters that can create their own shots like that. So they just need to find a way to defend and not let guys like Terry Rozier get off to hot, crazy games. Uh, somebody has to get in his face. We know he's a shooter. Get in his face. Help out on D if he cuts to the basket or if he drives to the basket. We need good help defense. Miles Bridges, he's good. I don't know if he can really take over a game um, at this point in his career. 
uh, this far in his career. But, I mean, guys like that, we can't let uh, Miles Bridges go off and get crazy and get dunks all over us and score and, and uh, get hot in the mid-range game. Gordon Hayward is another decent player they have. Uh, I don't know if Gordon Hayward can take over a game, but he can shoot and he can hit threes. Can't let him go crazy. And as long as they keep those guys in check, they can beat the Hornets. They should beat the Hornets. Um, I didn't get a chance to check the line before the game, but if you want to do sports betting, uh, click the link below in the description. You can do sports betting even no matter where you're at, even in California. I sports bet here in California. And guess what? Hey, I won my bet from last uh, video. I bet $5 on the Kings to beat the uh, Pistons by more than 11 points, and they did it. So I won $4.55. So if you want to do sports betting like that, click the link below. And I got a question for y'all. Uh, answer in the comments. How do y'all feel the Kings played in this game? Do y'all feel that uh, it's a step forward in the way they played, being so far down but able to come back in the end? Comment below. That's about it, guys. That's all I have for you guys. Uh, please help me out. Help the channel out. I'm new, but I'm getting better. We're going to do some more fun, entertaining stuff. We're going to do some live videos. We're going to watch some live games together. So help the channel out by liking this video. If you watched this far, please press that like button. Uh, if you like talking Kings talk, Sacramento Kings, you want to help this channel, please subscribe. We're going to be doing some fun stuff in the future. And hey, why not share the video? Why not make a comment below about anything, how I'm doing, how the Kings are doing, whatever. Make a comment below. It helps the channel. So if you're here this far, help the channel out. Why not? I found this quote online. Um, I'm not sure who, where it originated from, but um, I thought it was good. It fits me. It fits my struggles. Uh, maybe it might help you. And it goes like this. You'll never do a whole lot unless you're brave enough to try. I like that. You're never going to do a whole lot unless you're brave enough to try. And that's all I got, guys. I don't want to keep up all your time. Hopefully uh, you found this information good, entertaining. Hopefully you'll come back. You'll like the video and subscribe. But once again, it's your guy. Jay Woods, a.k.a. Siam, with another episode of The King's Morning After, Midday Cup of Joe with Jay. And I'll see you next time, tomorrow. Uh, I'll be commenting on tonight's game. So please uh, subscribe and click that notification bell and join me again on the next episode. But other than that, guys, I'm out. Check out these moves, though. It's good.